In my membership, the paperless movement in a circle, mainly business people and teachers, join us to learn more about paperless workflows. By sharing their experiences with us, I learned that many actually prepare their business meetings and lectures using note-taking apps, such as Notechell for Good Notes, and present it this way to their audience using the iPad only. Why I also think it is better using an iPad for presentation rather than using a laptop or Macbook, I will show you now. This video is brought to you by my Inner Circle members and if you are one of them watching this right now, I'm very thankful for your support which allows me to create those videos and to offer member exclusive content like my online courses and the premium blog posts. To present on a second screen, you need to directly connect your iPad with a TV or a projector. This is not working wirelessly yet like you can do with a MacBook. Of course, you can mirror your screen to another screen, which is especially easy to do using an Apple TV, but this is not what we want to achieve here. The goal is to extend the iPad screen rather than to mirror it. So to connect your iPad with another display, you will need a cable. For most TVs and projectors, this would be an HDMI connection. Sometimes there are also display ports and USB-C connections. Make sure you've got the right one. To connect your iPad via the most common connection using HDMI, you will need a special adapter. iPad Pro 2018 is the only one that has a USB-C port. All the other models have a lightning port. Keep this in mind when you look for an adapter. Be careful when you buy from companies other than Apple. I tested many adapters from third-party companies and either it didn't connect at all or I got disconnections. Hence, I recommend getting the original Apple Lightning to a digital AV adapter for the iPad Air, iPad 2018 and iPad Mini 5 or the USB-C digital AV multiport adapter when using an iPad Pro 2018 to ensure a stable connection. Regarding resolution, you should also keep in mind that using any other iPad than the iPad Pro 2018 will give you only up to 1080p Full HD resolution. With the USB adapter, you can connect your iPad Pro and also your Macs to get resolutions up to 5K. In other words, if you have a screen with a higher resolution like 4K, then you can only take advantage of this high resolution using an iPad Pro 2018 with the USB-C port. I put the links of those two adapters into the description below. You might also need to buy an HDMI cable in addition to the adapter if there was none included in a TV or projector or if you need a longer one. There are also plenty of options on Amazon, but again, cheap is not always good in this case. But looking at the reviews on each product will give you a good idea if things will work properly. Now that we sorted the hardware part of the connection, let's dive into how we present using an iPad and how it will look like. To demonstrate to you how things work, I will use my external monitor from Chick here. This is my mobile monitor when I'm traveling to extend my MacBook or iPad Pro's display. It is thin and lightweight and compared to other external monitors, it has a very nice brightness and contrast that looks nearly the same as on my iPad. It connects and is powered via a single USB-C cable. This makes it ultra portable. If you're interested in this monitor, I will put the links into the description below, but in this video, we will pretend that this monitor is the presenter's TV screen or picture of a projector. If you go to settings on your iPad and display brightness, then there your external display will appear. This way you can adjust the external display. The options you see there, however, will differ depending on the device you connect. Many apps on the iPad offer a presentation mode that will allow you to show a borderless version of your slides on the external devices and hiding the toolbars. Even the drawing app Procreate offers this functionality. Simply go to the options there and switch it on. If you do video editing using LumaFusion, you have the option to use the external display to view your playback. But using an external monitor becomes really useful when you use apps like GoodNotes 5, PowerPoint or Keynotes. Many note-taking apps that I prefer to use offer a presentation mode. In Note Shelf, 
you will have a very basic presentation mode. It will simply show your note in full screen and when you add handwriting or drawings via your iPad, the lines will appear after you lift your Apple Pencil from the screen. In GoodNotes 5, the lines will appear in real time, but in addition, you will get additional tools like laser pointers. One version lets you draw on the screen to highlight things, but it will appear after a short time. This is perfect if you want to explain things in your presentation. Tools like this one also explains why it is so great using an Apple Pencil on your iPad Pro for presentation, as you can simply add notes on the go and then provide the final presentation with your additional notes to the audience afterwards. Notability, on the other hand, has no options for presentation at all. You can only mirror what you see on your iPad. I was actually wondering that this feature was missing, as so many teachers and students are using Notability today. For those reasons, I think GoodNotes 5 is the best note-taking app if you want to present your notes on external screens. You could also prepare a presentation elsewhere, like PowerPoint, and import it as a PDF into your note-taking app. However, there might be no need to do this. PowerPoint's presentation mode activates automatically when you start your presentation. While presenting, you will see the next and previous slides and notes per slide on the right side. This information shows only on your iPad screen, while the external display shows only the current slide in full screen. PowerPoint also offers additional tools like pens and highlighters that allow you to draw onto your slides during presentation. This also can be saved after finishing the presentation if you want to share it with your audience once finished. What makes all this really powerful is if you invite others to work on the same presentation in real time. PowerPoint provides this feature as well as keynotes. Let's say you want to brainstorm something. Just open a blank slide and everybody can draw in it in real time using their own iPad, while your iPad shows all the changes on a big screen. No need to buy expensive digital whiteboards. And compared to a paper-based whiteboard, everyone has the results already on their device. No need to take a picture, redraw it digitally and send it to attendees after the meeting has finished. Just think about the time you will save this way. In my opinion, this collaboration aspect using iPads is the future of teaching and efficient business meetings. Everyone will have the chance to contribute and everyone will leave the meeting or classroom with the same content on their device. If you are presenting with your iPad already, please share your experiences with us in the comments below or even better in the Paperless Movement Inner Circle forums. I'm looking forward to seeing the solutions you come up with and if you think this video was useful then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you up next time or in the Inner Circle.